Okay, this is an example of a telescoping series where um, something unexpected happens. What we have is the ln of the root of n plus 1 minus the ln of the root of n. n equals 1 to infinity. Um, if we have an idea that it's telescoping, then we must go to the partial sum, add up the first n terms, and see if we do get that collapsing that we expect from a telescoping. Uh, k is just a counter. n is where we stop at. So instead of using n to be your counter, we just come up with a different name for it, k. So when k is 1, what is the a sub 1 term? Uh, you plug a 1 in for n, and you get the ln of root 2 minus the ln of root 1. OK. Leave it. I know, I know ln of 1 is 0. Leave it, leave it, leave it. Second term. K equals 2. Ln of root 3 minus ln of root 2. You actually have your first cancellation again. I don't want you to always think that, you know, cancellation happens after two terms. It's not going to be the case always. But here in this example and example number five, the previous example, that is what happened. We had this cancellation happen in the first two terms. What happens then? In a telescoping, once you get your te first cancellation, what you need to do is mimic that at the end. You see the end is at a sub n. The guy before that is a sub n minus 1. If it took you two terms to get your first cancellation, then you should write the last two terms because that will be your last cancellation. When you have an n, it's just a repeating of what's inside the summation. When you have n minus 1, though, you put it in and you'll see what happens. I mean, n minus 1 plus the 1, those guys cancel and you have ln of root n. And so we uh, the same cancellation that happens in the same manner that it happened in the beginning is going to happen at the end. This is your last cancellation. Your first cancellation, and now your last cancellation. Everybody with a counter lower than n is going to cancel. Everybody with a counter more than 2 is going to cancel. You don't have to write those other terms, but they cancel. Expect them to cancel. Here's the third term. You don't have to write this, but you know how the cancellation is going to happen the same way it happened in the previous part. Don't write the next one, but you know that guy's going to cancel. At the end, the counter lower than n, n minus 1. You're not going to write the previous guy, but you know it's going to cancel. And everybody in the middle is going to cancel. You have one surviving term in the beginning. Let me highlight it. Therefore, you should only have one surviving term in the end. Let me highlight it. And so S sub n, the nth partial sum, collapses. The middle of it does. And you just have the representation from the first term and the last term. What are you supposed to do? You're supposed to take the limit as n goes to infinity on this. I, I know the first guy is 0. You know, log of 1 is 0. Square root of 1 is 1, and log of 1 is 0, negative 0, 0. 0, 0, for sure. First part is 0. But what about the second part? n gets large. Okay, natural log is one of our slowest growing functions, but it will go to infinity as n goes to infinity. And so we then have that this limit is negative infinity. What does that mean to you about the series? Well, when this limit is infinity, negative infinity, or whether it uh, does not exist, any of these three options here leads you to the conclusion that the series diverges. You have a divergent series. If it had been equal to a finite number, like in example five, then that'll be your sum, and you say that the series converges. Okay. All right, great. Let's end the video here, and we'll have one more example of a telescoping in example number seven.